now 105.9 FM and AM 630. Well, we ask you if you're encountering any issues out there on Election Day, and boy, the lines just lit right up, so let's go to Warner and Lovettsville. Warner, you're on with Brian and Larry. What You're in Loudoun County. What's going on out there? Yeah, I'm in West Lovettsville, and I got to the polls about 6.15, parking lot packed, right? Go in, there's about 100 people in line, come to find out the electronic system to validate voters is down. Now, naturally, they didn't have the printed you know, voter registration right. list. This is the first time ever, as far as I can tell. So up till about 640, not one person had voted in West uh, Lovettsville, and I was told that it was a county-wide problem. Well, and we I, have we have another call. Uh, thank you, Warner. We from, just want to make sure that Warner doesn't work yeah. for the McAuliffe campaign, and he's trying to yeah. silence the uh, the Cuccinelli vote here. Paul, Paul is also <laughs> in Lovettsville, and very quickly, Paul, what are you experiencing? I'm experiencing the exact same thing he did. And we, I arrived just before 6 o'clock. The great news was that uh, being in Loudoun County, the lines were packed. People were definitely stopped showing up. But then once you got in, the connectivity problem, I had literally two people get through, and then we stop and wait. Wow. And then connectivity again. And it just kept going over and over. And the poor IT guy... I, he was working everything he could, but the connectivity problem is a county problem from what he told me. He's a former student of mine, and he told me that right. the connectivity problem is it. Thanks, Paul. All right, thank you. I want to get to Mike in Bristol. That's Prince William County. Mike, uh, what was your experience? A line four there. Hello, Mike. Uh, when I cast my vote, it would show up as service. But right, you weren't voting for service. I was not voting for service. So, so you had problems with the machine, right? Yes, I did. And then you it, alerted somebody who worked there at the polling I place? I alerted somebody who worked at the to- poll place, and it took five tries to get the vote corrected. Now, was Sarvis's name on the ballot right next to the person you intended to vote for, or were they it separate? It was right below it. Hmm, interesting. All right, uh, thanks for that, Mike. And Dennis in Fairfax, uh, good morning. You're on with Brian and Larry. Uh, what's going on in Fairfax this morning when you went to vote? Good morning, guys. I got two issues. One, in Fairfax City, uh, it was a manual vote as opposed to electronic, which we've had for years. Uh, and you shove it in the machine, it counts it, and then I guess they're going to read it later. And the second thing is, I don't know how, what the procedure is to put the candidates on the, on the ballot. I thought it used to be the ruling party of the, of the state. They would go on top, and then the, the rest would, would fall below. But uh, I guess it's alphabetical by party, because every candidate, the D, was first. All right. Interesting. All right. Uh, alphabetical by party. Huh. Thanks, Dennis. So, yeah. all, so the Ds are at top. Uh, very quickly, Tracy in Centerville. You're on with Brian and Larry. Good morning, Tracy. And good morning, Brian and Larry. Love you guys. So Thanks. I just finished voting in Centerville at Center Ridge Elementary School. And guess who I saw within 20 feet of the door? Uh, Jerry who? Foltz. Who? Jerry Foltz. Wait, oh, so he's out there shaking hands to people about to ask him for their vote right there at the polling place? Yes, he offered me a ballot. I said, no thanks, I know who I'm voting for, and he asked me to vote for him. Wow, and did he did he offer you money with the ballot? <laughs> oh, no. I'm just no, asking. <laughs> I'm just pressing. All right, Tracy, thanks, yeah. and thanks for listening. All right, listen, uh, thank you so much for your calls. And by the way, you know, keep those calls coming. Let us know what's going in. Uh, we want to know if there are other problems that you're experiencing. It sounds like Lovettsville uh, out in... Uh, and Loudon, and Loudon is having yeah. some issues with and connectivity. maybe Prince William as but well. Stick it out, guys. Your voice, your voice must be heard today. It's very important. They are counting on on the WMAL listeners being disheartened and not sticking to it and not getting out there to vote. Trust me, we need you to vote. Also coming up today, seven fifteen, Ken Kuchina. Currently in the nation's capital, forty two degrees, headed up to a high degree of sixty. It's now eight eighteen on WMAL. Yes, it is election day in Virginia, and we heard about an hour and a half ago. We heard from voters right after the polls opened and out in Loudoun County that they were having some serious technical problems. That has been confirmed now from the WMAL News Department. The conversation continues, and if you are experiencing any problems out there voting in Virginia, we want to hear from you, 888-630-9625, 888-630-WMAL. Rodney and Alexandria, real fast, uh, let's hear from you. You have good news, right? Yeah, I uh, just wanted to call and let you know that I voted out in Mount Vernon today, and I felt positive about it. There's a lot of people walking around with... Uh, 
the Republican uh, sample ballots in their hands and NRA stickers on their cars. And right. All right. And so, you didn't have any technical no issues, problems. Right. Great, Rodney. That's good to no hear. Way. Mount Vernon's looking good. Yeah, the problems have been out in Loudoun County. We've had a couple of callers who said that early this morning when they got there that there were some kind of uh, computer issues. Now, the county has said that they were connectivity issues that seemed to be situated with one particular kind of laptop that they were using. Not all laptops were experiencing this problem, that the IT people were working their way through it. But listen, this is why it's so important. Loudoun County, when you look at the entire Commonwealth of Virginia, you know, as Loudoun County goes, so goes the election often. It is really the, one of the bubble counties in the in the whole uh, Commonwealth. And so when there are problems there, it raises additional flags. Yeah, if you want to compare it to the uh, presidential election, uh, Loudoun County is Ohio, Yeah, basically. Exactly. You're not going to win the Commonwealth pretty much without Loudoun County. So uh, any any hint of issues out there, that that's going to raise some flags. So if you've run into any problems this morning, if you've seen anything that sort of raised the hair on the back of your neck, you've got any concerns, one one triple eight six three zero nine six two five. One triple eight six three zero WMAI. By the way, um, speaking of polls, you know we just talked to Tom Bevan. He's got yeah. the real clear politics average of polls, and people are having trouble on their polling places. Right. Here's a poll. I, you ever wonder when they take polls and it's so obvious what the answer is? Like, you know, does chocolate taste good? Yeah. Gee, it yeah. seems eighty percent of Americans like the taste of chocolate. Well, get this: many Americans dislike visiting the DMV. You're kidding. Yeah, this is a national DMV satisfaction survey, and they did this survey online. And believe it or not, 70% of Americans hate the DMV. Well, <laughs> talk about wasted money on a poll. It's and like, wasted... like, we didn't know that? Yeah, we didn't do it. let's take a poll and find out what that's people like, think. That's like taking a poll and said, you know, if you take a hammer and hit your thumb, will it hurt? <laughs> right, 95% exactly. of people said, yes, it will hurt. <laughs> All right, we will take your calls in just a moment. 105.9 FM and AM 630, Washington's Mall, WMAL, where Washington comes to talk. It's 23. We're keeping an eye on Loudoun County. We're getting early reports of some glitches in the voting system. But if you hear this, please don't let this dissuade you from going out and voting. I mean, this kind of thing, it dissuades some of the people who are less passionate about their candidate. That means your voice is going to yeah. be even more important. All right, Hoke and Sterling out there in Loudoun County. What's happening, Hoke? Did you have any issues? There were issues. That I had to wait a few minutes. There were three laptops. One of them was working fine. One of them wasn't working at all. And the other one, the one that I happened to go to, had issues. But I was able to vote. It just took a little bit longer than normal. The best part is, on the way in, they tried to hand me a Democratic ballot, and I was able to look at it and say, if I wanted to live in Maryland, I'd just move in. All <laughs> <laughs> right, Hoke, thanks for that. All right, Hoke, thank you. How about Marie in Germantown? Hey, Marie, uh, what do you think? That Wait, hold on. You're in Maryland. You're not even voting today, Marie. Yeah. No, I'm not, but I'll tell you what. It, 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 Virginia's going to go the way of um, Maryland once that McCall's gets in, because what's going to happen is he's going to redistrict everything back to the we, Democrats. Um, we so know, forth. I know, Marie, and we've been, we've been talking. Right now we're talking about polling problems. Linda in Leesburg. Linda, you're on WMAL. What's happening, Linda? What's going on, Linda? Hi. Um, yes, I just wanted to let you know, I I just voted in Leesburg, and uh, they actually offered me at the polls paper or electronic, That's like and I chose the paper, and my strong suggestion to all the conservatives is you need to ask your polling place for paper because they can't really mess that up. <laughs> uh, all right. Good good idea, Linda. Uh, thank you for that. How about uh, Garth? Uh, no, no, excuse Mark me. Mark in Fairfax. Uh, thank you. Has something. Hello, Mark. You're on with Brian and Larry. What do you think, Mark? Hey, how you doing, guys? Well, what happened? I just, uh, well, I just got finished voting about uh, 80 minutes ago in Fairfax County, and, uh, you know, it was all nice. You know, there was, like, light turn up, and uh, they, they handed me a manila envelope, and uh, they took you know, sat down, and I filled it out, and there were two ballots in there. You two know, ballots I, in the envelope? Yeah, yeah there were two ballots. Wow, like, and that's in Fairfax. Interesting, Mark. Thanks for that. So what did you do, by the way, oh. Mark? Well, like, at first I was thinking, I said, wow, maybe I can vote twice. But then, then I freaked out, and I, I go, what is this? And, like, everyone, like, looking at me, and uh, I go, I can vote twice. They go, no, no. You can only vote once. So you had to give a, there's two ballots in here. Oh, you know? well, that's interesting. Thanks, Mark. All right, well, listen, coming up in just a few minutes, we're going to talk to Reince Priebus. He's the chairman of the Republican Committee, and we will check with him. You know, the party uh, chairman, they, they've, all, they've got their ground game going on. If there's anything like this is going on, oh, I'm sure he might, have their finger on the he might know yeah. about it. As